Welcome back to the Source Garage. I've finally gotten my pure, completely transparent bucket in. There's no uh, markings that are visible on the outside here anywhere, except for these fill lines, which you really can't even see probably at this point. They're just very lightly written on here, so you can measure out your fills appropriately. But other than that, completely transparent. Looks really, really nice. Uh, so I'll go over in this video just a little bit about the bucket, what it does and doesn't work in, and uh, how it's held up for me over time as I've used it. So real quick, the top across here is 12 inches. The bottom of the bucket is 11 inches. And the reason I like this bucket more than the current regular food bucket, as you're seeing, it probably called the ghost bucket on sites. It's got these big red fill lines on front of it. I've wiped off the bottom ones in an attempt. I was trying to see how easy I could get rid of them. But the difference between the ghost bucket you're seeing on other sites and this one here really has to do with the grit guards uh, and the bottom of the bucket. So this is my favorite detail guards dirt lock, which I'll have on the site as well now. In the bottom of this bucket, it fits nicely, just a tiny bit of wiggle room in here. You can pull it in and out easily when you need to clean this when you're done using it. In these buckets, well, it gets wedged in the bottom and it's not even all the way down. And when you try and pull it out, it's obviously kind of a pain. So that's the nice thing about these buckets being larger in the base. Um, now with that large base, it's not gonna be a problem when you use a bucket dolly. So this is the most common bucket dolly. You can see I've got it in here with a grit guard. It still has a little bit of wiggle room. And even with the other most common bucket dolly I see on eBay or Amazon, it's this black one, it's got a rectangle on the front here, it still fits in here as well. Now this one is a bit more of a snug fit. You're not gonna use the clamps on the side to hold it in place, but it does fit in there as well. A little bit of a press fit. So now how well do these things hold up, right? So this is a polycarbonate bucket. Uh, it's an obviously completely transparent. You're thinking, all right, is this gonna scuff, scratch? Um, haze over. Well, this is the one you've seen in all my videos over the course of the last year plus and that I've been using for over a year and since I've got it. And this thing has been through a lot of abuse with acidic wheel cleaners that I've had in here when I've been doing my wheel cleaner testing. Um, I've thrown tools in here. I use it to, when I went around the house like pulling weeds one day. I've had rocks in here. Uh, I, I've, I've abused the crap out of this bucket as well as using it for auto detailing stuff and all my wash videos and stuff like that. And if, can you see from the camera the, any noticeable difference here? And I'll, I'll zoom in as well to show you. This bucket has some very, very light uh, scuffing um, little marks, obviously that come from me abusing the crap out of it, throwing a bunch of stuff in here that I shouldn't have. But I really wanted to put it to the test to see how it hold up. I also wanted to see if it would haze or yellow in sunlight. And I've left this bucket actually when I first got it Anytime I wasn't using it, I put it out in front of my house and it sat in front of the garage for I think 10 weeks or thereabouts. And I wanted to see like, is the, the sun obviously gonna haze this if someone's using this frequently? And as you can clearly see, not really at all. I uh, wouldn't be able to notice it. So that kind of speaks to how it's gonna hold up. It's not super fragile. I mean, like I said, I've thrown this all around the garage. There is scuffing around the edge here, obviously where it's scraped across the bottom of the floor. But other than that, I've been really, really happy with how well um, these have held up. So I think they're perfectly acceptable for any kind of auto detailing purpose. And I'm not gonna be worried about um, cracking or breaking or whatnot. I know I've read a whole lot about the polycarbonate type buckets and if they hold up over time. And yeah, they're not as strong as a Yeti bucket, Home Depot, that type of plastic, but that's not what I'm selling it for is a, a heavy duty utility bucket. It's really for the, the nice aesthetic look. Um, and it does look pretty, as you see in the, the shots here of it with O&R and different soaps and in the, the bucket dolly with the grit card, it, it looks nice. And that's really what I'm selling it for is I think it looks really cool and I like having it and I can see the contaminants um, in whatever I'm washing or the if I'm using a soap with a cool color, I can see that too. And that's really all it's about. I'm not trying to sell you this as, oh, this is the next greatest bucket ever. That's, <laughs> that's just not what I'm trying to do. So anyway, when trying to sell these, so I'll actually put this up on the site here or on the screen here. So I'll show, tell you how much I bought these for and how much it cost to get to me. And I, I'm trying to be more transparent than I think probably most people doing this. So it cost me about $15 uh, per bucket to get them. I got 200 of them. They're filling up my basement right now. And I need to figure out how to get the shipping cost down more if I can buy more of these. Um, but anyway, it cost me about 15 bucks. I want to sell them for $25 each. So I make about five bucks to me after taxes come through. 
Now the killer with these is the shipping costs. So let me grab the box that I have to, to ship these in. Uh, so let me move this bucket here. So I have a 16 uh, by 16 by 15 box here. So this is what they'll come in. This is a stack of two of them in here. Now shipping this around the country costs somewhere between 15 and $30 uh, in the, the US at least outside of that, it's obviously gonna be much more expensive. But if you can buy two of these, that's $50 for the buckets, then everything on, once you get one bucket in this box, everything else you add into it doesn't increase the shipping cost anymore. The, the weight has to go up so much before I reach that next tier of shipping cost. So what I really am trying to do is sell at least two of these buckets to save you on more of the shipping cost in one of these packages. And then also add in like a grit guard to go with it, add in a package of 10 wash mitts. So if you haven't seen my video on wash mitts, that'll be in the link below. Buy a pack of 10 of these, buy two buckets, buy a grit guard, get it all in here and then I can cover the shipping costs because obviously I'll be making enough on the, the margin to help with that. So I'm sorry if you just want one bucket or, or just two buckets, There's the shipping is just too expensive to ship something large like this, but I'll have it up on the site anyway. So just so you know, before you head over there and look into this. So unfortunately shipping is the demise of a small business like myself trying to ship these things. So I have to sell it in, in kits to try and make it work. So I think, excuse me, I think that's really all there is. Um, yeah, so this is the source garage thing. I'm gonna call this the pure bucket um, because it's just nice and pretty and shiny and clear. And uh, if you want it, yeah, it's on the site now, sourcegarage.com. Link's in the description below. Thanks for watching.